Welcome to Gunship. Yeah, so, uh, so hi everybody. Uh, so as you, <clears throat> as they said, it's the last speak, so I'm trying to, I'm, I'll try to do it as quickly as possible and uh, as uh, happy as possible, uh, hence the typo, the police. Uh, so I'm uh, Clément, uh, I'm a long time Hex developer, like maybe not 10 years, but close. Uh, I created TryHacks, which probably you know, and uh, I, I also work a lot on the Axe Sublime Text Bundle. And <clears throat> for the last uh, couple of years, I've been working on uh, Axe JavaScript for uh, Node.js and for uh, browsers. So what is the uh, Axe.js kit? It's a collection of uh, externs for uh, Axe JavaScript. Uh, which I stole from people, and sometimes I wrote, I wrote some. Uh, why Hacks JavaScript? Because Hacks is, well, in my opinion, it's, it's better than any equivalent that we have these days, like TypeScript, CoffeeScript, they kind of suck. And also because, as others have said, before in the conf during the conference, uh, <clears throat> Hex is really a good language to do server-side stuff and uh, other stuff than just games. So yeah, Hex Node.js is actually better than the equivalent uh, Scala Play. It's clearer, nicer. So uh, we have in this collection of externs we have Node.js uh, Core API, so with uh, all the low-level stuff, file system and stuff. Uh, but this is going to be removed because, uh, as probably most of you know, uh, there is a, an officially supported uh, collection of Node.js Core uh, API now at the X Foundation. So <clears throat> this part will just uh, just throw it in the trash. Uh, we have uh, quite a good uh, uh, support for Express with. Uh, Lots of middleware and stuff. We have good support for Socket.io, which is good for uh, real-time uh, applications. And we have uh, externs for Passport.js also and for uh, Sequelize, thanks to uh, Thiago, who is somewhere here. So thank you, Thiago. Uh, <clears throat> and lots of uh, other uh, NPM libraries, which are small, so so it's a, it's a really a good ba basis to uh, build server-side Node.js applications, which I did a lot. But not only, because uh, we also have uh, support for uh, Atom Shell, which is now uh, Electron for uh, desktop applications. Uh, <clears throat> and besides the externs, we have uh, we also provide a couple of tools to glue all of this together to make it more uh, more uh, easy to use because uh, Node.js is not so easy to use uh, in the first place. And we, we can code those tools directly in the language because of macros, so that's great. So the first tool, which is really, <clears throat> really e easy to, which makes it very, very e easy to use is uh, uh, generation of package.json, uh, which is used for uh, dependency management. So basically, uh, when you use uh, Express and a uh, couple of middlewares, you have to, and you want to share your project, you have to add all the dependen dependencies by hand. So with hacks and macros and uh, the external we, we wrote, it's, it's automatic. You just have to uh, Call this method uh, at macro time, and uh, all the dependencies are added automatically. Uh, also, we have support for uh, weird field names, uh, which is uh, 
actually like native, like the native uh, metadata, but for uh, variables and uh, fields, members. Um, there are lots of these in JavaScript, and it's difficult to handle uh, in hex because you can't have a dash in, uh, in the middle of a feed name. So uh, <clears throat> we have this macro that translates uh, from uh, from uh, native uh, native identifier to uh, axe valid identifier. Uh, we have also this tool for uh, <clears throat> for simplifying uh, asynchronous code. So instead of doing all this cold bath spaghetti that you see in lots of uh, JavaScript uh, programs, uh, we have that macro that <clears throat> can basically transform a synchronous code, look, synchronous looking code into this uh, spaghetti mess that uh, node runs. Um, and uh, <clears throat> on top of those tools, those macro tools, we have even more macros, because macros. <laughs> so, for instance, we have this macro to uh, generate uh, mongoose schemas from type defs, which is very convenient because you don't want to, you don't want to write this weird JavaScript stuff only to to have schemas. So, we have a macro that transforms the, the, this left stuff just a type def into a, a mongoose definition, which is interesting and convenient. And finally, the last feature that we have is uh, related to client-side stuff, uh, React.js. Uh, so uh, in React.js, they have the, this thing called uh, GSX, which is a mix of uh, JavaScript and uh, HTML, which you can see on the left. Um, we, ha we have a hex equivalent, which, which is on the right, uh, which is, uses macros to transform the hex code into uh, React.js uh, elements and classes and stuff. So, and it's better actually because it's typed and uh, you don't have HTML looking stuff into your JavaScript code. So. It's just X, you know. So that's really all. <laughs> so thank you for listening. <laughs> Any questions? Uh, hi, um, I'm checking the repo right now. Uh, I see you have like a lot of externs for a lot of libraries like YouTube, Twitter, Facebook. Yeah. Do you plan to like maybe more organize the the kit and do like sub module and use npm to connect these so the developer only get what they need? Uh, sorry, I don't. Uh, I didn't get it. Um, do you plan to divide the JS kit yeah. to like sub module and then? use like uh, npm, which is the node package manager, to install these sub modules. So you don't have like all the external at once. So you only get what you need. Oh, uh, you mean you mean to split the to split the library yeah. into different well that that was more uh, David Mouton's uh, problem because the thing is uh X, XGS kit it's more like uh, definitely typed for uh, TypeScript. So it's it's really a bunch of externs. Uh, so since it's no it's not code, you it's okay to have all all of them in one place, and also it makes them more uh, coherent. You know, does it does it answer your question? Uh, yeah. Uh, second question is if I use something from these externs, um, and I don't use like I use only like jQuery. Uh, Will I have to include the others library, other libraries? Or no, no, no. The thing is, with, with uh, dependency management, if you only use jQuery, then only jQuery will be added to your uh, package system. So you just compile your hacks code, then run npm to grab the dependencies, and that's all. It's just going to download jQuery. So that's modular also. Thanks.
I just wanted to say great work. Like this looks really interesting. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> So it's over. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Gunship. <laughs>